again, I'm so glad that the space is being used for artistic um, expression and for like trying to highlight things that we don't really talk about in the community, like drug use and breakups and, you know, so sliding into DMs. Uh, so um, the, this is the last person that's on the sign-up sheet, but uh, the sign-up sheet is still open. So if you'd like to, if you feel inspired, you want to share something that you yourself have written or just thought about or something great about your day, um, just come see me over there and I can write your name down. Um, so I'm going to introduce Rene. Ren is it an H or an N? Rene. Ranim, okay, yeah, I'm like, wait a second, my eyesight's bad. Okay, Ranim Omar, uh, please give her a warm applause. Hello, everyone. How are you guys? Right, awesome. Um, so my name is Ranim. Uh, I don't, I, I did this one time before, but I, I don't know if I'm still, I don't know how I feel, like, nerve-wise. Sometimes I get nervous, sometimes I don't, and, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to, I also wanted to say that um, a little background just about my poetry. Uh, I've been writing poetry my whole life, um, something I'm very passionate about. Um, I'm passionate about music too, that's, that's another thing, but uh, more like something that I've actually published and something that I've actually went through with is um, my poetry. Um, and I think that I connect with pain a lot through my poetry and I think that's what's be beautiful about art in general is that it's almost this unspoken connection between, um, you know, the listener and the speaker. Um, and I don't think that there's any healing that could ever be done if, if it weren't for connecting with your pain to begin with. And so this art just allows me to do that. And so I'm, I'm grateful for this space and this platform. And I'm also grateful um, that I just, I get the opportunity to, you know, to share that and share that vulnerability and also be on the listening end of it because everybody's so talented. Um, so yeah, you guys are all amazing. Um, yeah, so this, this isn't, I'm going to go ahead, this is not titled, um, so yeah. I was five years old. I was not born scared, but the TV scared me. Why was Joe from Blue's Clues head so big? And why did this, well, I'm sorry, why did his eyes follow me everywhere? I went, I'd hide in the closet. One could never say I was born afraid of the dark. No, the dark is where I would find the most solace and in the safest place was when my mom wasn't asleep and man-made objects weren't out to get me. And in my imagination, I could still be anyone and myself was my favorite place to start. My sister, she had fallen asleep one time lying down on a stranger's bed. We grew up around strangers, I suppose. That's why we have learned to trust them and why I love observing unfamiliar faces. In my eyes, everyone is my family. As I watched her, I remember feeling alone without anyone familiar to be awake with me and experienced this with. But I did not wake her up, I just felt the feeling and never forgot it, it was my earliest memory of loneliness. It felt like the closet, except that was the day I never found a way out but a trap door to another memory. My small body sat on the edge of my bed. My door, the Explorer backpack lined with pink glitter, my most important possession, and it lay limp at one of the four corners of the pale yellow walls. I hated those walls and I hated the feeling that I had unsettling in fear. Tears were sprinkling, glittered on my face. I looked like my Dora the Explorer backpack, but not as lively. My dad had peered through the crack in the door. Why are you crying, Habibi? His voice etched with concern and a loving tone like he always spoke. The truth spilled from my child mouth so simply the way I always spoke. I don't want to go to hell, and the concern twisted into a painful kind. Now we're both anxious and the walls are not helping. And I cannot tell my father so devout that if I loved God more than I feared him, I would end up there. And even crying about it became fear that glittered my father's face too. Now he assumed the face of my backpack. And so at the age of five in secret, I made a vow to myself not to trust in the things that scared me and not to let the colors of walls affect my unsettlement and to close closet doors when I fell asleep because that's where I've placed my fears. Now and then we'll get together once a month and catch up to reminisce on the days the dark was the safest place to hide.